When it comes to shoes, the number one mandatory for me, and I'm sure for you too, is comfort. They're, oh my God, just the excruciating pain of shoes being uncomfortable is horrible. Of course, there are much worse things, but it's horrible. Um, so I spent some time with our shoe master, Ruben, to learn some more of the technical aspects of what makes our shoes comfortable, um, so that you can look for it or ask about it in the store. The first thing is called the toe puff, and I think that's such a cute name. Um, it can also be called the toe box as well. It's kind of that place where you put your toes inside of the shoe. So this little cavity needs to be really something that can hold its shape so that it doesn't squash down on your toes, but it also needs to be not too rigid so that it doesn't like rub really hard on your feet. So what you need to look for is when you pick up the pair of shoes, just press a little bit on that like toe cavity area and see if it can hold its shape but still feel a little bit malleable. You also may want to put your hands inside of the shoes and feel to see what the padding is like in there. There are three parts that make up like the sole of a shoe. There's the outsole, which is the outside that hits the pavement, the midsole, and then the insole, which is where your feet touch the shoe. So in our insole, we're making a little window in there underneath where the balls of your feet go, and we're gonna be filling that with some foam, so it's much softer for you to step into. And the way that you would know that's there is just popping your fingers into the shoe and pressing down onto that spot where your toes and the ball of your feet is gonna go to know if it's gonna be comfortable. Now, in a similar vein to the toe puff, the upper of your shoe, so that's anything that falls onto the top of your foot, you need to find something there that can really maintain its shape, but isn't super stiff, because the harder that is going to be, the more that as you move and walk in that shoe, the more your foot's gonna rub up against it. So you need something that can maintain its shape and structure, but feels a little bit malleable with your hands, um, so that you know that when you walk in it, it's gonna move with your foot. So at Shoes of Prey, we are very careful to make sure that we do have something that serves both of those two really important elements. Um, and in some cases, we've developed styles where we don't need to put backing in there at all. So some of the slides are unlined leather and they feel so wonderful to wear. Outsoles are also really important to pay attention to. So as I said before, the sole of the shoe is made up of the midsole, the insole, the part that touches your foot, and the outsole, which is the part that touches the pavement. The critical thing about the outsole is it needs to be a bit abrasive, so you're not gonna slip. And also, it also needs to be a little bit flexible because when you walk with your foot, you're walking through with the shoe and you don't want that to be too stiff. So in terms of leather outsoles, they're really great for elasticity, ventilation, um, and flexibility, but rubber soles are good too. And with the rubber soles, they just have the added benefit of being very, very durable. Of course, one of the most important things is making sure you have the right size shoe. And most shoe companies will sort of talk to you about that with respect to the lengths, but at Shoes of Prey, we also do different widths. So we have two wide, so wide and extra wide, and narrow and extra narrow fittings, as well as the standard fitting. So with this here, it is a lot of in-depth work to produce these, so they're not available across all of our styles, but it's something that we always work to do more of because that comfort is so important. So tell me, what are your most comfortable pair of shoes? What makes them comfortable? What things do you look for when you're thinking about or assessing the comfort of a pair of shoes? I would love to hear about it. If you are watching on YouTube, put it in the comments below so we can all learn from each other. If you're watching somewhere else on the internet, please hit me up on Instagram. I would love to hear from you. I hope that you're well. I'll catch you next week and don't forget, do everything before you're ready. Bye.